Hey there everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to Imagination Tech. So a common misconception about quadcopters and drones in general is that if you have four identical motors and supply power to all of them, then they are going to spin at exactly the same speed. And that's what causes a quadcopter to you know, fly stably in the air. But that is not actually the case because no two motors are, are alike so they are going to spin at slightly different speeds and even the frame will affect you know the flight dynamics so um if you do that this is actually going to spin, spin out of control and you know crash somewhere so what actually makes a quadcopter fly stably in the air is what we call the flight controller which has im an imu or inertial motion movement unit what so what actually keeps a quadcopter stable in the air is what you call a flight controller, which contains an IMU or inertial measurement unit, as well as some gyros, which you know takes measurements several thousand times per second and makes a million cal calculations to make sure that your your quadcopter is flying stably. Now this flight controller also requires what we call a firmware, and the most common firmware that we use for FPV is called Betaflight, and it's especially tuned for you know for flying fast, for flying racing or freestyle. But uh, even if you're just cruising or doing cinematic, then this firmware actually you know does that great as well. So most people who fly FPV are already familiar with Betaflight, but if you're just getting started into FPV or looking into building your own drones then stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to install Betaflight and install Betaflight firmware onto your flight controller. Stay tuned. First, start up your browser and search for Betaflight configurator in your search bar. And it's the first one in our search results. So this is the URL, github.com slash betaflight slash betaflight dash configurator slash releases. The recording I'm showing you will be a mix of the current 10.10 .10 configurator release as well as 10.8 from 2022 because I got a fresh new laptop at the time so I wanted to show you a really fresh install but the steps are all the same regardless of the version. If there would be any changes in the future versions I'll put a notice in the case description and I'll put a new guide as well. There's a lot of info on the release page about what's been added or changed as well as links to release notes and issues which I recommend you read through everything. But for now, just scroll down to the section called Assets where you can click on the right version for your particular operating system to download it. There are also portable versions for Linux and Windows so you can even have multiple versions on your computer at the same time. If you downloaded the portable version, unzip the file, run the Betaflight application from there, and skip to the Betaflight setup part. You can even put this on a USB stick and run Betaflight from there. Otherwise, run the installer, which is pretty much a standard installer, and you just click yes or next for the most part. When it's done installing, just start up Betaflight. On the main screen, you'll see some info as well as some links to some drivers, which you may or may not need. For now, let's plug in our quad or flight controller to our computer via a USB cable. Since Auto Connect is checked by default, if your computer already has the drivers it needs, it'll automatically connect you to your flight controller. As you see out of the box, we were able to access our flight controller, but you may still get a notification saying setting up a device, but you can ignore it and after a couple of minutes, it'll show another notification saying device ready to use. It'll also show you what firmware your flight controller currently has here on the upper left. If you're just starting out, it's probably not a good idea to dive into updating your flight controller's firmware, but I'm going to show you what happens when you do this the first time, so make sure to bookmark or save this video for future reference. So I just clicked the update firmware button on the upper right and selected my flight controller and the firmware I want to update to. After clicking load firmware online and hitting flash firmware, Betaflight will tell your flight controller to reboot in DFU mode and Windows will detect that it needs to install the STM32 bootloader drivers for this. Betaflight will get stuck at initializing reboot to bootloader. After this, you should go back to the welcome screen of Betaflight and click the link for the Zadig drivers, because those are actually the ones that work properly instead of the Windows drivers. On the Zadig page, scroll down to the download section and once downloaded, run Zadig. You would need to go back to Betaflight update firmware screen and repeat the steps all the way to flash firmware so it puts the flight controller in DFU mode again. And now you will see in the Zadig screen, there is an STM32 bootloader in the drop-down menu. WinUSB should be shown by default and then just click install drivers. Once it's done installing the driver, you can go back to Betaflight, click load firmware online again, and now you can click flash firmware. 
it's not going to get stuck on the reboot to bootloader step anymore and we'll proceed with erasing the previous firmware. There's also an impulse RC driver fixture link on the welcome screen and some people swear by it, but I've personally been fortunate enough to not need to use this ever. But that might be something you might want to check out if you are, if you are having driver issues. Alright, that is going to be it for this short video. I just wanted to show you how to install a Betaflight configurator from scratch or if you're just doing this for the first time and a little bit on how to update the firmware on, uh, on your flight controller. I did not go into a deep dive on, on all of the settings of uh, Betaflight, which I probably will cover in a different video, but I do have some build videos you might want to check out. I'll put them down in the description below. I usually have a table of contents on those, so just skip to the Betaflight setup section. And, uh, oops, my alarm is ringing, right. So just skip to the Betaflight setup sections and those will provide good examples on how to set up beta flight on your quads and uh, in particular for those quads or drones that I've built. If you like this video and found it informative, I would really appreciate it if you can click on the like button. Make sure you're subscribed because I think over 80% or 90% of my viewers are currently non-subscribers. So, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well and maybe share even share this video. That, that would be a really great help. I also have a Patreon link down below if you, you know, want to help support this channel. Right, so I'm going to leave you with that. As always, keep building and keep flying.